Lumbar Facet Syndrome. Your health and well-being is important to all of us. Today, your health care provider has requested that you watch this brief video. Are you less productive at work because of low back pain? Have you noticed a change in the quality of your life because of your low back pain? Are you unable to be the best you can be because of your back condition? Over the next few minutes, you'll learn about a specific type of low back pain called facet syndrome, how it occurs, and what you can do to prevent pain and achieve a healthy low back. Two-thirds of all low back pain is mechanical in nature, referring to the joints or biomechanics of the spine. This is known as facet syndrome. Facet syndrome of the low back occurs when the joints of the vertebrae in your lower spine are not gliding smoothly. Those joints get fixated or their alignment becomes restricted, affecting mobility of and often causing pain in the low back. The facets, or joints of the vertebrae, interconnect each vertebra to one another. A facet is a small smooth area on the vertebrae. When two facets touch on a vertebra, they form a facet joint. Each vertebra has two sets of facet joints. One pair faces upward, the superior facet joint, and one pair faces downward, the inferior facet joint. There is one superior and inferior joint on each side of a vertebra, the right and the left. Facet joints are hinge-like, located at the back of the spine, and link the vertebrae together. When the facets are not gliding smoothly, they can compress and irritate the soft tissue, such as the joint capsule surrounding the facet joint complex. This can inflame the nerves exiting the spine and cause the same type of symptoms commonly seen with pinched nerve conditions. When a nerve root is pinched or compressed, it may cause symptoms of numbness, tingling, burning, achy soreness, and pain along the nerve path. The nerves on the joint capsule surrounding the facet are very small and can be irritated if the facet joints are not gliding smoothly. Repetitive stress and arthritic changes to a facet joint can lead to enlargement of the facet, which leads to a narrowing of the space where nerve roots exit the spine to supply the muscles and organs of that body region. Facet joint pain comes and goes and can be made worse by sudden movement. Usually, low back extension is the most painful movement with a facet syndrome. Extension of the spine can cause facets to jam together, causing pain and joint restriction that limits movement. Patients with lumbar facet joint syndrome often complain of low back pain, possible pain in the leg, and a limited range of motion. The pain is usually described as a dull, aching discomfort in the posterior low back that sometimes radiates to down the leg, but not past the knee. Facet syndrome is an underappreciated cause of both acute and chronic low back pain commonly seen by doctors of chiropractic. Your health care provider can diagnose and address the causes of your low back pain and provide you with the treatment and education to heal the condition and prevent flare-ups and recurrences. According to the Journal of the American Chiropractic Association, manual therapy, including spinal manipulation, is often helpful for facet syndrome. Therapeutic exercise through a pain-free range of motion also has value in treating facet syndrome. Muscle strengthening should begin with simple exercises and progress to isotonic exercise with movement as tolerated. Manual manipulation or chiropractic adjustment combined with exercise is very helpful. Using correct lifting techniques, ergonomic chairs, and good sleep posture all contribute to spinal health. Proper posture is facilitated by exercise and stretching, which strengthens the muscles that stabilize the facet joints of the vertebrae. Weight reduction is helpful for those who are overweight. Obesity places a great deal of added stress on the spine. Any treatment should focus on restoring motion to the joints. Chiropractic adjustments are successful in relieving pain and improving joint function. Above all else, to avoid recurrent episodes of low back facet syndrome, follow your health care provider's instructions for healing and prevention. 
Your health care team has a star player, you. With you leading the way towards a better state of health, it is important to keep all appointments, follow your treatment plan for longer lasting results, exercise as instructed, eat properly, and follow stretching and ergonomic recommendations. Working together as a team, you and your healthcare professionals can decrease the likelihood of future problems and prevent degeneration from advancing, decrease relapses or flare-ups, and stop the development of chronic pain syndromes. A better quality of life is the wellness goal to better health. With proper low back care and prevention, you're on the right path to achieving that goal. If you have additional questions about the information presented, please ask your healthcare provider for assistance.